first when you do reds check to make sure they bleed because this one I thought I checked everything and it did so I'm gonna have to put a die cast thing in, and hopefully it'll catch the dies this is the cats now on to I had a banana box of hot material so the challenge was to try to work it down this is the fir uh, first heart and then we did something a little bit different with the hot material we went like this and I have some duplicates I'm not showing you but all together I have about 15 heart quilts we made now this one I couldn't cut up so we improvised this is what we ended up with on this one okay now I'll go around to find more hot material are we doing these first or those which ones okay this one was kind of fun I got this for a back originally and I go hmm it works with this and then sometimes when I can't cut them up if they look too cutesy I gotta improvise I didn't want to chop these guys in pieces so that's what I ended up with on that one this more duck material and it has hearts you'll notice everything except for the first one has hearts then I changed this one up a little bit because I realized that now after I made this one I realized I had some extra few extra blocks but what to do with it quote unquote not enough to make a quilt well not exactly you'll notice this it frames it twice I thought what if I frame it three times and then maybe add a little bit so from that quilt to this quilt and then I frame I went around three times instead of two and then a border so I made it big enough then we have two more for now now this guy these two are made the same way but how different the different colors look and then he's gonna pin a, a, on this one to see and just when I thought I had enough for one to two more quilts of hot material, we got a good deal on more. So eventually there'll be more. That's it for now. Another time when I make a batch more, you'll see me again do a YouTube.